Adam Science here and today's your lucky day. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a logo type design. I know many of you have been waiting for this tutorial but it's here now so no need to worry. <laughs> so just double click on your sketch layer. Um, if you don't have a sketch to work with I've left a sketch down in the description so please download it and follow along with this tutorial right so first of all I've double clicked on the sketch layer and made it a template and changed the opacity to 80% right that should leave you with a transparent sketch and a more easier reference to follow right so create a new layer get your pen tool and when working with the pencil just remember that the like let's say the least points you have the more cleaner your work's going to look and the more smooth the curves are going to be so remember that right so let's start off with this point over here once you've made your first point just make it transparent so I'm going to change it to let's say 40 and starting on a sharp point is always the best just go around your shape if you don't know how to do this just look at what I'm doing and follow along right so it doesn't have to be perfect to the reference like this is just the reference after all so don't try to make it too perfect all right go down click just go around perfect look at nice all right just go up if you make a mistake just control Z and continue from where you left off that's another good thing about Illustrator is that you can start from where you left off without making a mistake if you don't know how to use the pen tool correctly um, if you go to Mr. Magic of GFX, you should see on his channel that he has the basics to using Illustrator. And I watched it myself, and personally, it is one of the best basic tutorials on how to do many things in Illustrator. So, check out his channel. Okay, nearly finished the shape. It's turning out well. Well, okay. If you've made a mistake, just correct it like I am doing so. It's looking quite good. Just make it so it looks nice. I think it looks very good. Okay, might not need to make any more changes from here, but never be too sure. Fantastic. Right, so we've made our shape. yeah it's looking good I'm not even going to lie <laughs> it's looking quite good alright so at this point you've created your base shape what we need to do is on the same layer get your pen tool change the color to a contrasting color so I'm going to pick red go along the path basically what we want to do is create the crevices that we saw on this area right here so let's just make our layer visible again um, just make a little curve right here 
go along the path line just so it's perfect so zoom in if you need to hold alt just make a little curve just to add that little depth to the crease highlight both shapes go to window pathfinder and subtract right so now we've made our first crease and let's just see how it looks when the transparency is on 10 all right so we're getting that look that we want let's just do the same to the other crevices here so if we look at the sketch so make this invisible you'll see that we have two more to do let's get started so go along the line so as you can see I've gone along dragged perfect halt just make a little curve like we did before doesn't matter if it's going over the area over here as that's what we want hold alt click highlight both shapes go to your pathfinder if it's vanished it should be on the side just look for it or go back to window and select it perfect now for this side just do the same right just make a little curve again okay so highlight both shapes subtract just make it so it looks a bit better move it up make the curve a little bit more 